So with all Nexuses, Nexi, whatever, you can actually use this Nexus Root Toolkit. Um, I made a video of it the other day when I actually rooted the phone, but the audio got all jacked up, so I deleted it in a drunken rage late a couple nights ago. So <laughs> got to do it again. Um, I'm not going to root it in real time like I did in the video the first time. I actually did it like as I went through it all and stuff and showed you guys how to do it. I'm just going to show you guys how to do it. The old video, the it was about an hour long before I edited it. And as I'm editing it, my audio starts doubling like halfway through. I don't know why. So I couldn't figure out how to fix it and I tried overdubbing it and I hated it. So I just said, fuck it and deleted it. Now the phone's already rooted. I don't want to unroot it because it's already running a custom kernel, which I also made a video for. But I want to get this one out before I send the other one. It, it, blah blah so anyway nexus root toolkit i first discovered it with the nexus 4 and i've used it on every nexus device i've had since it's awesome they've updated it ever since to support other nexus devices as time goes on now apparently it supports everything so very very cool works great you used to have to do this stuff by uh you know by hand in the command line now it does it all for you. It'll even get your drivers and everything for you. It's really, really cool, which I did have to do. I will show you the process. So what I did was I made a folder on that drive. You got to stay organized because a lot of the time when you're doing this kind of stuff, you will um, be downloading a lot of files and drivers and stuff. You're, you're, when you're doing backups, you're going to have a million files and stuff. So it's good to make a, I made an Nexus 6P folder just especially for it. Um, try to keep organized and stuff. It's a pain in the ass when you lose files, so. Put it in here. <laughs> and it'll start up ADB for you. <clears throat> it actually installs ADB for you and everything, so it's pretty sweet. Not that that's terribly hard to get running, but it's just an extra step, and it can be a pain in the ass. Drivers are usually what is the biggest, um, the biggest headache getting all the drivers all set. So you're gonna go in here, you're gonna go, when you first start the program, it'll pop this up. Drop down, pick your device, and then your version, which mine was the uh, L. And that, ooh, I didn't notice the auto detect button. That's kind of cool. But yeah, anyway, just pick apply. And I had to unplug, you know, you make sure that your uh, USB debugging and all that stuff is on. Unplug it, I plugged it back in, and it popped up the ADB warning message permission thing then you click uh where is it unlock is the first step you gotta unlock the bootloader i was getting issues with that because i didn't have the i had to unplug the phone and then plug it back in first so it did the um permissions thing for um the adb bridge or um the fucking usb debugging there we go brain fart today fuck click root uh, I did the custom recovery. It'll install Twerp for you, which is a team win recovery program. It's awesome. That's how you flush your, or flash your custom ROMs and do uh, Android backups and all the cool stuff. One thing I encountered with this was the um, Twerp actually allows you to leave the file system read only. The reason, come to find out, it's a new feature. I'd never seen it before, so I had to look it up. But come to find out, you can actually leave it read only still receive OTA, like over-the-air updates for official, you know, if you're going to keep your ROM stock, but also do the Nandroid backups and stuff like you had root. So it's a really cool, like, gray area. It's a nice option to have. Pretty cool. I didn't do that because I want root. I was having issues with it doing, um, it wasn't wanting to cooperate for a moment during part of this. I actually had to go into the drivers. Um, again, it makes it really easy used to have to go in and do the manual driver install thing, which is slightly annoying to say the least. This, you just go in and, like it says, skip to step three, right here. Uh, recommended solution number one. Um, no joke, you just hit universal driver, or uh, Google drivers, and it installed the drivers for me and everything. Unplug, plug, done. Very cool. So, then it rooted, and that was it. Highly recommend the uh, Nexus Root Toolkit. It's awesome. Works great. Sorry I couldn't get the other video fixed, but it. I try to make decent quality stuff for everybody. I don't want, you know, 
duplicating audio and stuff. It was it was bad. So can't root again. I don't want to risk bricking the damn phone. So you got the abbreviated version. If you guys have any questions or anything, let me know. Uh, next video is going to be a custom kernel. And then after that, I'm going to do a custom ROM. So it'll be a three-part thing coming up after this. Stay tuned. Like, subscribe, all that happy horse shit. You know the drill. Later.